in our other counties. Uh, about 46% of FPL customers have power right now in Charlotte County. Things looking a little bit better in Lee County. 77% of FPL customers have power. And Collier County, which is, was not hit as hard with the power outages as everywhere else, they're at 92% right now. It's crazy to think about the fact that 2.1 million people have had their power restored. We know uh, about 2.6 million lost power at the start of this whole storm and things like that. So they are making progress. I know a lot of people who are still without power. I saw on Facebook one of my friends posted, I know I'm in the same situation as so many others, but I'm on day seven without power. It's difficult. We hear you, and we are going to continue to keep you updated on the power situation. Yeah. All right, let's bring in Fox 4's Elise Chingari. She is tracking this for us this morning. And Elise, what can you tell us about where you are right now? Good morning, Lisa and Chris. So we are here in Cape Coral off of Bayshore Drive, and we have seen a lot of those crews going up and down the roads here. LCEC recently told me that there were more than 100 line trucks that have been sent here th from other states to help with that power. We know the power was out about 99%. It's standing at about 49% at this time. And LCEC says that's what they are just working on around the clock at this time. I mean, even traveling to get here, we can see that more houses were lit up, more areas. And actually, let's turn the camera right now because this is one of the main convoys that is heading in here right now. So if you are without power and you were wondering when that was going to change, when they're going to work harder on it. I know we heard our governor stating that we needed more help with this, and this is what we are seeing right now. You can see they've had a police escort. Again, I'm being told that there will be more than 100 trucks heading here right now, and visually, here's what you are seeing firsthand. This is more than 100 line trucks down here on Bayshore Drive. They're heading right in to the Cape Coral area. I'm being told these trucks are coming in from a lot of different states. Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Missouri, North Carolina, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Texas. They are going to be working hard to try to restore more power to homes. Now, just over 41% of the six county service territory has been restored over the past five days, excluding, of course, Sanibel and Pine Island, which that's just not accessible at this time to line crews. But again, if you are at home and you are trying to watch us possibly maybe on your cell phone, you're watching us on live stream and you're wondering when your power is going to be coming back, you are getting a live look right now on Bayshore Drive here in Cape Coral of these crews that are coming in. And Lisa and Chris, I know yesterday we were over at Fort Myers Beach and we were seeing all those crews coming in. We know a lot of people are coming from different states to help us here in Southwest Florida. And you are getting a look at that right now as these line workers are coming in here to try to help and make a difference with the power here. So of course, we'll continue to update you here throughout the morning on you know what that power is looking like i literally was just speaking with lcec one of their main communications directors here a short time ago and i said i don't see the trucks i said i thought it was supposed to happen between 7 and 7 30 i've been watching it and here they are right now so more than 100 line workers you can see it right here behind me. are heading right here into the Cape Coral area. We know that they're going to be working on multiple areas throughout Southwest Florida to try to restore that power for you as soon as possible. Live here in Cape Coral, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.